there he goes. Hey guys, welcome back to another Alviso Crit, and um, this is uh, another Frenemies video. I'm alongside my, my friend, Brian Larson here. Yeah, and this and is a special edition because this Alviso, you got dethroned. I got I got crushed. Um, so we're going to talk about uh, how they they took their two verse one and they managed to uh, to basically kick my ass. So, um, so let's just get right into it. All right, so um, first we're going to actually just talk about... Um, our plans coming into the race and uh, and whether or not we executed them, you'll see. So, so Brian, what was your approach with your teammate Alex coming into today's today's race? Yeah, so Alex and I both know that we might be fast finishers, but we're not going to beat Jeff in the finish. So, uh, we decided to push for push for those breaks, and any break we had to be the fastest finisher in that break. So, we are not going to push on if you are in that move with us because you might beat us in that or position. somebody else who could potentially be or any other group. sprinter who might just out sprint us so if you're moment. in if you're in a move that you don't think you can win from what do you do shut it down reset try just again. sit on they can tell you around if they want just hope for a reset yeah okay cool um and uh i'll talk about my my plan a again it was just me against the uh two strong team california guys so my plan a a little bit unrealistic but um try not to let either of them get away but uh if you know if you've seen my channel if you know these two guys that's not going to happen. They're both attacking style riders. They're not going to passively wait in, in the pack waiting for a field sprint. So so that was kind of a pipe dream. My realistic plan B was um, let one of them up the road. Ideally, Alex, uh, not with anybody else. Reason being is Alex is strong, but staying away solo on a windy day is really hard. And um, I figured I could work maybe with the help of a couple of other people in the group to um, to bring him back in the case that he gets away. And then... He's burned a few matches for the sprint, so um, so that was my my realistic plan B. So um, in either case, sitting in and waiting for a field sprint was not an option for me because uh, I had to to keep these two Team California guys right here on the right. So we're already chatting there, making having plans, a little conversation, <laughs> scheming. <laughs> um, I had to stay close to them because if I just sat mid pack in the draft, comfortable, they're just going to attack. They're going to get away. I'm screwed. So I, I just have to keep them close at all times to uh to keep them on a short leash so moves like this that kind of roll off the front early on um if team california is not in it like uh, that's that is not my obligation to chase like uh, I'm, I'm looking to you guys i'm going to sit on your wheel even if we're going 100 watts yeah and i'm actually looking at everyone else in the group who's also still fresh too so while i may be the responsible party to ultimately bring that back i have no initiative to do it to be the first one to try and bring it you want to be you want to be you, somebody to force your hand exactly like that gap to open up open up open up or somebody else to just show that they're actually going to start pulling and then i'll contribute gotcha all right so uh a few k later and uh there goes brian putting in his first dig yeah and that's just uh to see how you're going to respond and i mean you did exactly what i thought you'd do and you went you went with it right away so now it's just kind of a systems check and we're going to kind of pull you out and see what you're capable of doing in in the uh coming coming meters here and there you go you elbow me through i oblige as long as you're working i'm working and remember guys like i said earlier um the reason i stay close to the team california boys is so exactly so i can respond to attacks just like i did right there if i wasn't up towards the front up next to them and Brian put this attack in, I would have to close, probably close, you know, 10, 15 seconds, and that would really hurt. This way, I'm sharing the load with Brian. He's doing work, I'm doing work, and it looks like two more guys have uh, have come onto the back of us here. Yeah, and it's still a long ways to go, so, you know, we know that we're going to have to get it grouped together. I'm not going to go one for one with 21K to go with you, so I'm going to kind of slow this down a little bit here to see if these guys are going to be willing to work, you know, and kind of do, a, I guess, like a really a half ass pull. Yeah at 25 miles an hour and see if these guys will contribute and i want this to work like i want these other two guys to work but they're already showing that they're not going to work like like they open they open the gap to your wheel and forced me to take another pull so i take another pull i kind of want to see where this this is going to go because i want this to work like like if these other two guys are, are going to commit to this this break i'll commit to it even if brian's going to sit on like we'll have to deal with that later but i like the chances um without Alex in the group and just Brian that that helps me a lot so um so I take another poll here I uh I elbow through yeah I don't like those odds usually so now <laughs> so I we're like to see so, yeah so so 
yep, there goes Brian in the rear view, and he comes onto my wheel. Yep, laughing that the games have begun. The games have. I think I said that too, right? At, at this moment, I'm like, the games have begun. And the second Brian stops working, I stop working because I'm not going to kill myself, especially if these guys are letting gaps open up like they are right now, and they're not really committed to it. Then I'm not going to. I'm not going to waste the energy committing to it myself. Right. And I think one thing that people forget about too is that when you're in a position like this in a breakaway, you have to really truly understand what the next step is. What's the stage and what's going to happen next? So, and, and what's the next step for me? Well, I'm expecting the counter and boom, like a fucking missile. <laughs> here here comes Alex he and here comes my like almost 1400 watt surge because I don't want Brian to follow me. And Brian still follows me, which is kind of interesting. Let's talk about this for a second, Brian, because I wasn't expecting you to follow me down like this. And I have a gap. So, like, I'm hurting, but you're hurting equally. Yeah, so I was matching your effort, basically. Maybe not 1,400 watts, but I was matching your effort. And the reason we said that, uh, the reason I'm sorry that I did that was because, like we said earlier, we have to be the fastest finisher in whatever yeah. group is going to the line. Two versus one is pretty good in this situation exactly. from a group of three. And, exactly. and this is good and bad for me. It's uh, Well, it's mostly bad. <laughs> but, but it's good because, look, you just... Both of you guys just spent a lot of energy. Alex did the huge attack. You chased me down. Um, but it's mostly bad because, uh, because well, now it's we're in a position where it's like literally a th group of three and it's two versus one. So I'm not going to win from that group. But but at least uh, I drew out um, an attack from, from Alex and I forced you to chase. Yeah, and I think one thing you have to never discount is that while you we are matching your efforts, I think Alex and I potentially have a little bit more depth than you which means that when you're tired <laughs> when you're tired we can still ride at 80 percent of what you're capable of when you're fresh because well because i'm matching two attacks and you guys are exactly. matching one attack exactly yeah. <laughs> all right few uninteresting k later but there have been some developments there's actually a few groups up the road that i am no in no position to chase i am forcing team california to do the chasing and um instead of chasing boom there goes the attack alex yeah and i gotta trying, chase that yeah he's trying to jump across to that pulling you out uh different from last time is i'm right on your wheel yeah i don't have that pop anymore nope you did 1400 watts uh tw with 20k to go or something this like time that. not so much <laughs> yeah not so much now we're in the you know i'm in the draft here and i'm even coasting here at you know yep. 33 miles an hour with this little tailwind and i was doing i was doing five six hundred there at at the last moments to close this down. Alex smartly sits up. He doesn't just keep pulling me. And I don't even have time to catch my breath. Boom. There it goes. Yeah. Downer. And now, now I'm doing 1,200 again. Uh, this is not a recipe for uh, for Jeff getting in the, in the lead here, winning today. Is, is responding to multiple counterattacks is, is no good for me. And um, looking good for you guys. This is smart. Yeah. Look at that heart rate, Jeff. I don't think I've ever... That's like my zone too, but like <laughs> I've never seen you this 176. Is, this is my zone 17 right here. This is about as high as it goes. And um, I think we're going to get... Uh, yeah, 177. That's me anticipating the uh, the next one that's... Oh, oh there it goes. <laughs> Knockout. Yeah. And um, and I would say that I let that go, but um, I'm going to be realistic and I'm going to say that just went. <laughs> You had nothing. You could do nothing yeah. about that. I could get about halfway and then pull off to the side of the road and barf. Yeah. That's an option. My my realistic plan B was Alex up the road by himself. So, hey, at least that's happening. That's not <laughs> yeah. so bad. But but I'm totally out of control now of this race. Yeah, you did not get to dictate the timing of when that went. I got a little bit lucky that it's just him and not him and like three more guys. Exactly. You did. And you did go to the front relatively quickly yeah. there now i was sitting second wheel kind of shutting things down and you took the initiative no, to no, roll no. Through. i'm not letting you pull that yeah yeah you roll through exactly so when when a move goes you need to always take the initiative and be the one to say hey guys i'm here to help you quickly yes too. if you if you dick around for a half a lap um this this five ten second gap can can balloon up to 40 seconds because um because hey pushing 100 watts on the front while you catch your breath it sounds like a good idea in a race but if you're trying to chase down a break that's not a good idea. That that's a recipe to to lose. And um, and I I tried to, to to get these other guys pulling because remember it's not just me who has an obligation to chase this back. It's everybody else who missed this, which is um the other thirty four guys or whatever in this group other than Brian. Yeah. And Brian, I'm, what are you doing? You're um I'm like hanging out. You have a there. mai tai back there. Chilling. I'm just hanging out, enjoying <laughs> the sun. I'm looking around. And uh, and look, we we get a, a decent little pace line going, and um. We get a little bit of a, of a consistent effort here. It's a it's a very measured, very repeatable effort that we're putting in, and um, we're all taking decent pulls. A little bit of a gap here behind me, but but we stay this way for a few Ks, um, and I'm and I'm happy about this situation because you know four guys chasing one guy is, is pretty good, and your teammate Alex is killing himself up there. He sure is. 
All right, so we are like a lap later, and um, I have demonstrated that, hey, I'm willing to, to do the majority of the uh, of the pulling here. I understand people don't like to work uh, with a sprinter because they don't want the sprinter to be at the front of the race at the end. But um, uh, I wanted to show this clip because uh, we had a, we had a happy, friendly thing going. And, uh, and hey, if you're benefiting from a, from a chase, uh, it's probably not a good idea to, to attack the chase. No, and you got in the, and yeah, there's, been, there's a hand that goes up there, a little <laughs> bit of frustration with, uh, Oh, I take the bait. Look with, at this. I'm an idiot. See, this is like how not to, <laughs> how not to race. Uh, this is a really stupid idea for me, but it was core, kind of more just like rage. Like we had a good, a good five, 10 minutes of, of like consistent pacemaking, rotating. And then, um, if you're trying to bridge across by yourself, that's a very ambitious proposition and it's probably not going to happen. A. B, if you're if if that's your your plan to make that happen, wait until I and the three other people who are chasing get within striking distance of of Alex up the road, right? Yeah, I'm just taking a nap right now. I'm like stretching. <laughs> I woke up from a nap while you oh, were doing 1,200 watts of back. rage when you were rage sprinting up at the front. You're I was literally coasting. taking a nap yeah. at the back. Yeah. Hey, power teamwork, boys. All right. So just a couple hundred meters later, I after rage sprinting across to uh, Jason. Um, Jason sits in, goes again, and uh, this is why I was an idiot, and this is why it didn't work out for me, because he goes again, and he pulls, who is that, Donald with him? He pulls another strong rider with him, and this this move actually got across to Alex. Yeah, so you, as frustrated as you were by his attack, he actually played the right move, because he left you behind and went across to the front move. And I, and I spent my energy chasing that first one down with like a monster stupid effort. While I was legitimately hanging out in a hammock behind you. <laughs> <laughs> it's on your third Mai Tai. On my fun. third Mai Tai. <laughs> so once that uh, once that group coalesces up the front with Alex, um, I learned after the fact, actually, that Alex smartly sits on and just gets towed along by this group of, what, like three or four now up the road. And um, he's just saving energy while making me chase behind. So now I'm doubly screwed. Yeah, and you're still doing 400, 500, 500 watts here. Pulling hard and not really going anywhere. And all I want, uh, consistency is efficiency. All I want is like to get like two or three other people chasing and just to do like to help a little bit and just to get like a smooth rotation going. That I makes all the difference. I think what you're trying to do is you're trying to make friends 10K from the finish of a race and that never works. I know. I keep trying though. No. And get a little bit of help here. So we go Be back into a, we, we go back into a, a little bit of a, of a pace line here, but... Who's this? Who's this dick to my right? Trying uh -huh. to trying to slow things down. <laughs> That's me not pulling through. You're welcome, Alex. Buzzing off off the fourth mai tai. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I might include that. We'll see. That was good. <laughs> All right. So we are six k later now. I've been doing an insane amount of work on the front, and um, I'm motivated by the fact that there's Alex and the group of like what four or five up the road, and I'm about to catch them. I still have to deal with Brian. And Brian, how you feeling at this moment right now? I'm bored. I'm really fucking bored, dude. But you're starting to wake up because you realize your teammate's about to get caught. I, yeah, now I better have... I've been sitting in for about 15K. So you crawl out of your sleeping bag, out of your slumber. Yeah, from... Uh, yeah, <laughs> and, after uh, how many Mai and, Tais. And boom, and boom, there, there it I goes. Go. And, uh, and, and talk about like my position there when you went. Yeah, so I made sure I wanted you to be boxed in because you would have to come backwards and around the riders behind. I always assume my competition's fresh. Even though you have been doing an enormous amount of work and I was pretty sure you weren't, I wanted to make sure that you were boxed in and couldn't respond. And always when you're catching that breakaway, it's really important to go through that breakaway and immediately attack. And there goes your teammate, Alex, by the way. Remember, guys, I mentioned Alex was sitting in that group of, of like four or five up the road. Smart letting them do all the work. So now he's fresh. Now he jumps across to you. This is insult to injury at this point. And, and just going back to your attack, even if I was in the right position, they played it so well. Team California played it so well today. I could have been on Brian's wheel. I would have been dropped because I was just gassed. Look, I'm at 179 beats per minute right now. It's Coasting. very rare my heart rate even goes that high. Yeah, and I think the other thing is when I when I went over the top, I also I like I always say I always do a systems check. And about 30 and another, seconds later, <laughs> another calling me to pull even more. It's like <laughs> no, I'm, I'm done, guys. <laughs> That's a no from me, dog. So I after I pulled for about. 40 seconds on the attack i did checked over my shoulder and i saw alex's uh white pock helmet coming towards me and i actually so eased up yeah, yeah. took a sip of water because i knew the next five minutes was about to be really hard wash down those my ties yeah <laughs> detox a little bit <laughs> and now at this point it's still uh on me to chase and i don't have much motivation or i don't have much uh energy left in my legs to do so all right so i finished taking my pull two two uh, team california guys still up the road but 
I look to my left. We have Cycle Sports Specialized. There's still three of them up, up, to, up towards the front. And um, there's still hope for me, I figure, because uh, there's three of them, me, and then there's maybe throwing a couple more guys who are willing to chase. And uh, now we're looking at a, like a six versus two situation. We can still we can still catch you guys up the road. But immediately, one of the cycle sport guys goes by by himself up the road, like trying to ch chase down a committed Brian and Alex. Not going to happen. Right. And, you know, another guy sees the opportunity, jumps across. Jumps the set. across. And now we have a cycle sport. This is this is kind of uh, how not how not to race as a team. Part two. Cycle sports specialized guy chasing a teammate. That's never a good sign. And the third. And now we have a third. So I'm going to stop it right here. I'm just going to talk about this is kind of how not to race as a team. We have in front of me with a red top, blue bottoms, a cycle sports specialized rider chasing a teammate who is in turn chasing a teammate. Each of whom have a rider in their draft who isn't a teammate. So this is like the antithesis of a proper chase effort. And meanwhile, up the road, what are you guys doing? Yeah, we're going full on. We're 100% committed. Are you looking back? We have never once looked back. Is there Someone... indecision? Are you attacking each other? No. Okay, so I think at this moment, I literally exhaled and just said like, oh, thank God it's over. I basically just rolled it in from here. Yeah, well, I wasn't rolling in. I was pretty you guys plastered. Head down. Oh, I was yeah. plastered from those Mai Tais. <laughs> All right, well... um. Hey, uh, this concludes another uh, another Alviso, and um, I got my teeth kicked in today. Uh, I had a really fun time kicking your <laughs> teeth in. I pretty much will do anything to get in your head, so most of today was just trying to get it in your head. Well, on that note, we'll wrap it up, and um, I brought a teammate out for some revenge at the next Alviso, so stay tuned for that. Hit like if you liked it, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, see you guys at the next one. How'd you guys, how'd you guys